the match of the night, the match maybe of the century. The biggest match in our history. Levan Seganishvili versus Devon Larratt. The wait is over with a few minutes from the start. This is it for one true king. Levon was happy to exchange energy with me. Yeah. 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 Which, you know, it, I can never criticize him because he destroyed me, but I was happy that it was he was doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the game was kind of unfolding in a way that I was happy with. And, uh, and even though, you know, like round one, whether he pinned me or not uh, in the initial surge, either way, I feel like we both kind of came to a stop at one point. You know, so the, the, the pressure is kind of balanced out. So, and I was like, okay, so that there's potentially a stop. He's playing my game. I'm like, okay, if that stop happens an inch higher, it is on, on, on. And so I was like, okay, I got you, I got you. And then what happened round two is, so I think I was on one foul already. And so, I wanted to false start him. Mm. And so I am at my max exertion yeah. and Levon is just holding me, right? So I am maxing and and from there on the go, Levon was able to surge through that uh, with enough force so that where my muscles were already at basically their maximum capacity, he blasts through, and that's where the injury happened. Right at the top. It wasn't at the bottom. Yeah, it was right, at the right at the center of the table. Right at the top. It uh, the the bicep. It, it tore mid muscle. It was a mid muscle tear. Uh, nothing detached. I I knew when it happened. I was like, oh damn. I'm like, you know, and um, there wasn't much strength there after that. Uh, I was still able to fight inside a little bit, but that's just not the right choice. And so basically it was over at the beginning of round two. Um, but you, the, the good part is what, what I'm watching, I'm sitting right there. I was like, I was like, that one's done. Yeah. But you didn't stop because- Well, how can you? Of course. How can a lot, you? But a lot of people wouldn't stop, you know that. Well, I understand, but I mean, a lot of people aren't as committed as I am to the game like I mean for me this is my life and uh, yeah you know that's the moment you live for that's it in that position 100% yeah so I mean and test I, your limits right and I think that it's just levels of commitment like uh, like you talk to a hardcore arm wrestler you know you're willing to yeah yeah to go there yeah of course yeah right and I mean how often do I have that opportunity it's probably my one opportunity to be across the table from Levon. Mm. So, uh, you know, give it everything you got, right? Um, so, yeah, so I walked away from the match and uh, that night was terrible. Oh my God, what a terrible night for me. I think I just laid in that shower and just thought I was the most horrible person in the world for like, oh my God, it was rough. Um, but uh, it very quickly, I kind of, you know, got through that portion and... Uh, uh, yeah, started my rehab shortly afterwards. Yeah, honestly, I mean, when there was a lot of things that went into the making this match, you never go into a match wanting to lose. I put my heart, my soul, my life into getting ready for Levon. Uh, what can I say? He's the pinnacle, he's Everest. Uh, I, have, I have no excuses. This is, without question, the strongest, best, everything that I could have brought to the table. Uh, I guess without further ado, I mean, let's do the honors. Uh, Levon, I joked that I would be your teacher on the table. Tonight, you are clearly my teacher. Uh, one of the great things is uh, I wanted to make sure that this was in the right hands, and I knew long ago that it was a possibility <laughs> Not just a possibility, but very likely that this hammer belongs in Georgia with the king of Georgia, with the king of strength in the arm wrestling world, Levon Sagan Philly.
Thank you for being, thank you for letting me be part of your legacy. He's incredible, I know. People, people talk about strength in arm wrestling. It's not that simple. Levon out arm wrestled, he, he's technical, he's everything. Uh, it, I, in my opinion, it will be someone very, very special who takes that hammer from him. Ladies and gentlemen, I want one more time for you to show your appreciation for a truly magnificent arm wrestler. And on behalf of all of arm wrestling, I want to say a personal thank you to you, Devon, for the effort that you've put into raising the sport to the remarkable level that we see it at now. Thank you. So, what's what's next for, for you? Yeah, so, I mean, I just got, you know, beat up pretty bad, so... I'll, I'll take. I got a little bit of a tear, so it's a biceps. Tear. Yeah, small, very small. No, it's yet, but you know, for the next few weeks, I got to take care of myself. I'll take care of my health. I'll kind of, you know, let my body settle down. I've been pushing hard, so uh, you know, probably the summer for me will be a lot of you know club training, rehab, uh, base building, and then once I start to, and who knows when. I am able to start progressive training again. Probably, you know, I don't want to timeline it. I yeah. You know, but at some point that'll happen, and uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff coming up. I don't want a rematch. No. <laughs> Levon's incredible. Okay. I now totally recognize that that was my best. You know, I feel like I gave it my best. Um, I think it would be silly for me to pursue it again unless something crazy happened. But I think What's up, everybody? So I figured it's been, I don't know, how long has it been? A week? Week since, you know, I had my one on one with the Titan, Levon Sagnashvili. You can see, like, you can see it, right? Like, you can see that the muscle is all tore through the middle. So, it'll take some time, I think, for it to, you know, fill in and reshape and heal. Uh, and I'm just going to relax. But it's important for me to arm wrestle until I'm dead. Uh, you know, where I'll be at, whatever. But I want to do this forever. I'm happy. I'm happy with how everything went. Happy that... You know, the hammer's in the right place. And I gave him my all. So, nothing I could have done. And now I can have some fun. <laughs>
Devin has to finish. Fight him. Devin's doing a lot of talking here, trying to get right into their saying fight me. But there it is, the ground. Entertaining fashion. This will be special. Devin Larratt with the win. You can see it means a lot to Devin Larratt here. Emotion is high. He's the heavyweight world champion of East First West Promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the new heavyweight champion of the world. No limits. Devon I just, uh, Neil, I, I love having you announce. I love the way it sounds when he says heavyweight champion of the world. It's, it's been a while since you've said that. Yes, mate. Yeah. I guess I just want to say thanks, huge thanks to Enkin Terzi. I just want to say, though, as like my final thought for this event, you know, I'm, I'm 47 years old. I've been through multiple surgeries, multiple setbacks, but I've held on to what I love in life, and that's, uh, that's the sport of arm wrestling. And uh, you know, whatever you love in life, just hold on to it. And uh, even when you're an old, broken man like me, you can still enjoy the things you love in life. I, uh, I think that the world recognizes Evgeny Prudnik. Uh, I can't do what Evgeny did to Matt Mask. And I can't do what he did to Todd Hutchings either. Uh, I knew it would be an extremely challenging match. He's rounded and what an amazing human being. On the table, off the table. I think he's one of the superstars of our sport. And uh, I'm glad I got to face him now. Yeah, I broke, oh, it's back. I'm glad I got to face him. It's a, it's a true honor and gift for me. So thank you very much, Evgeny. I'm, I'm sure I'll see you again. So excited. After Levon hurt me, I want to get something to immortalize it. So we'll see how it works. You guys can tell me what you think, if it's if it's cool or if I'm, you know, all washed up or whatever. But I'm really excited about this tattoo. Right on the line, right where right where that big dude ripped my arm, that's where I'm getting the tattoo. I love it! I love it, yes. Let me take a picture of me. Yeah. I'm like 10 years older than, 20 years older than this kid. 20 years older I am. I knew this match was going to happen. I knew as soon as I'm watching Matt get beat and that night, Afterwards, at East versus West, we all kind of went and had our party. I'm just talking to Matt, and I'm like, "Man, I gotta, I gotta beat this dude up for you." <laughs> so it's gonna happen, and it's gonna happen really soon. It's gonna happen really soon. I will destroy him. I see the kid. He's he's good. He's got a lot of potential. Okay, not on my level. Not on my level. Um, no, not yet. Not yet. One by one, the Europeans will fall. No limits! Damn him! Here we go! No limits! Devin Larratt of Canada! Sandlis, Panzer Sheris of Latvia. It is on six rounds. A 
Climb me, Devin. Ready to go! Oh, it's so easy. I am gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill him. Let it go, let it go. Let him bleed. Let him bleed. Let this young man bleed. Let the young champion show me everything. Everything, Sanders. Everything in round one. Remember what you said? I thought you said you wouldn't quit, Sanders. What's up everybody? So yes, I am still the 115 kilo world champion. Uh, I do not see a current challenger in this division. Um, so with that in mind, uh, I don't want to stagnate. I want to continue to push. I want to continue to think that I might lose uh, because, you know, just winning all the time isn't all that fun. Um, so, my next big match will be against Gennady Kvikvinia, May 6th. I'm super pumped, super excited, May 6th, East versus West, um, Gennady, what can I say, uh, I've been a fan of this guy, huge fan of this guy, since I think the first time I saw him arm wrestle. The dude arm wrestles like a complete maniac. Uh, he's got a ton of heart. Uh, just can't say enough about his style and uh, his soul. Can't say enough. He's a guy that I'm not sure that I can win against. So that's you know that's that's a good match. I will beat him, of course, but um, certainly nothing is for sure.
money. Today's the day. Uh, just a quick, quick thank you to everybody who's helped me get here. Um, thanks to High Hookers. Thanks to all teams across Ontario, states. Uh, thanks to Vitacell. Thanks to everybody who takes care of me and gives me love. I believe that this is going to be an incredibly difficult match. I think it will be a massive energy expenditure. And I think that this is going to be one of the highest amounts of work that I will ever have to do on the arm missing table. See you on the other side, guys. Thanks, everybody, for your support. Stay massive. Turkey on a mission and he has completely surprised the arm wrestling world not with winning but just the route in which it took what's up everybody ego ego is a terrible thing almost as terrible as getting older I need to realize that um, as much fun as it is to try and make your victory as big as possible, uh, in competition, the ultimate thing is victory. And ego, ego got in my way um, much respect to Gennady I would like a rematch I haven't watched the match yet I have not watched it I haven't checked all my messages um, I'll go through everything there's a lot I already know there's many things that I can address I think that Gennady and I have 
um, very similar qualities so that we can potentially run this back many times and we will continue to have close matches I believe I think that we are very close in our capabilities and I'm very curious to continue to fight with him further and just to be clear when he defeated me my first feeling was one of happiness for him thank you Engenterzi for continuing to selflessly promote arm wrestling in this world at the highest level. I enjoyed this loss. Not as much as I would have a victory, but uh, I'll definitely be back. He does, and uh, Close your thumb. He may have had. I think the referees have got at least 20% here. Close your hands. Yep. Go. Under, that looked like a jump start from Chase. Wow. I'm going to tell you what, he finished it there. He was off early, they're dragging each other, and it's getting a little physical oh, straight yeah. off the bat. Let go. JP with one pin. Let, set your elbows down. Wanna do it again right now? So stay right in it. Set your elbows down. You can feel that intensity. You can absolutely feel the match. it. Just smoldering. So he did. That's what he Close your hands. Go. was upset with. Chafee trying to take him down rail. Of Chafee, they're trying to finish. He's not been able to do so there. And this is actually good for Devin in some respect because he wants that horsepower to be burned, to be diminished. And Chafee, every time he stretches open like that, it's actually good for Larratt. He comes and connects, but he can't finish. And Larratt staying with it. Larratt putting some bullets in there. He'd love cracking the wrist back. Well, he's about to do so, I think. Dave Chafee has tried to pull a king's move. He's dropped right down wow. under the table. He's trying to win this with body weight and Devin Larratt just smiled at it. Devin connecting, Dave's trying to come up and engage a press. He's going for it like never before. Make this a very long, horrible affair. JP trying to stay alive. Huge drive from him, mate, but if you look at Devin's face, all that panic, he's stamping on Devin's foot there. He's actually stamping yeah, he foot is. Again to gain position yep. and, and, and that's not unintentionally he's just yeah, trying to gain a spot but Devon talking to him what you asked for yeah uh, uh, two, three, a bounce and what's up guys eight days from my match with Dave Chafee in Dubai and I'll tell you I feel so strong so strong and so healthy since I pulled Gennady, I have not stopped. I've not stopped. Like, there's been nights when I've gotten like an hour sleep. Just pulling every weekend. Different spot, different part of the world, different people. Way too much, probably. By all things measurable, way too much. Training hard every day. And... I thought, oh, this is going to be a bit of a disaster. But guess what? It's not. I said, I'm going to kind of rest for two weeks, and I've stuck. I'm not. I'm training hard every day. I'll train hard all the way till I get on the airplane. Why? Because I just keep getting stronger. Even today. I broke records today. I'm just going to look at this almost like a training match. My training level is so high right now. I think that I am going to destroy this guy, you know, 48 years old, primed on bite a cell, I feel indestructible. I am so not the same guy, Dave. I am not that guy you faced last time. Not even a bit. You better hope you're close. You better hope you've gotten better. Because I'd say, hmm. Probably between 15 and 20%. That's my best guess. That's a lot. That's a lot at the world level. That's what you're in for. Eight days. Hope you're working on your counting, Dave.
I was I was expecting him to walk out in suit to, be, to a fight before a fight. Today has been really chill. I just don't want to see it on tape. I just don't want to see it on tape. But I Remember me, Dave. Remember me. Remember me, Dave. Remember me. Don't forget about me. I'll get some rest. Don't forget about me. There it is. Remember Absolute me. Absolute domination from me. Ladies and gentlemen, what an arm wrestler. Just becoming better and better every time we see you. People talk about prime. I would believe this is the prime Devin. This is Devin at his best. Uh, it's an honor to be here. Uh, I really wanted to first start off with a story about Dave. I remember uh, I met Dave, it was 2009. We were at the Black Bear Saloon. And... Uh, Dave Chafee broke his arm, arm wrestling, a year prior against a guy called Doug Allen, a great arm wrestler in North America. That day, I was defending my title against Dave Randall, and that same day, Dave came back and destroyed the dude who broke his arm a year earlier. And uh, I knew that day that I was looking at an incredible champion. You know, I remember that day looking at Dave and the guy I was pulling, I'm like, this guy's going to be more of a problem than the guy I'm facing right now. Uh, it's been, uh, Dave's been a guy I've watched throughout his entire career. He just needs to get a little bit more devious, and he could beat me. Uh, strongest guy in North America. Honored to face him here today. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, King of the Table, for, for putting this together. Mate, what a guy. What a guy. I think uh, during, during the match in the final rounds there, I think about 75% 70, of the arm wrestling fans were throwing up because you gave them the double king's move. Well, you know, that's what made our first match so epic. You know, a lot of people hated it, but I really loved it because it, uh, it highlighted a certain aspect of the sport that's constantly talked about, and that's the king's move, the foul intricacies, and the rules of the king's move. Uh, this is a point of constant discussion in the sport, and our match really highlighted that at the time, and it's, it's a topic that's never really left the mouths of, of arm wrestling fans. So, you know, it's kind of fun that we get to kind of have that moment again. I mean, this time, on this day, the match wasn't about that, but, uh, yeah, it was kind of fun to be able to, you know, bring that one back. And maybe next time it'll be that. Maybe, maybe we'll see each other at 115 kilos in a couple of years. Well, there's, uh, when it comes to the King of I don't want a rematch. Um, I think it would be silly for me to pursue it again unless something crazy happens. Will tell the story. Yeah, please. Mr. Snow, comfortable? Ready to go? Round one is a bonus. There's the hit! Oh! 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 We've got a slip! We've got a slip! And it's dropping down as much as it could. There it all goes back off the ground. Goats gets position, defense. Levin stands up. Hermes is still defending. We are in the match. He's going for the He's going for the He's almost pulled back. Hermes is still. 
I'm so impressed. I'm just so impressed. Um, it's fighting spirit. If I ever saw it, this fighting spirit. Um, and that's a close match. That is a close match. That flop wrist press stuff. Like you talk test your frame. You talk about unrelenting like will to win. Hermes, dude, you killed it. You killed it. Levon still wins. Levon is still the king. But if he's not worried right now, well, he sure should be. Bam, 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 bam. Crazy days. Hermes Gasparini. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Um, it's, uh, it's a great, great thing you've just done. Accepting the match to come and face me. Uh, I know that for you, I know that you've been asking for this match. For me, this match is ahead of my schedule. However, fate has brought us to this point where we have a golden opportunity. And I appreciate your bravery and uh, your sense of, uh, of, 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 of challenge to, to jump in on this when you did not have to. And I am very much excited to pull you in three and a half weeks. I am in very good shape. I uh, I feel uh, for 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 my time in the sport and where I am. I I will give you the best fight that I can, and um, I'm sure it will be very difficult. I appreciate your skills. I appreciate all that you bring to the table. I will come and fight you as hard as possible. Three and a half weeks, Istanbul. Sixty-five right now, but everything is just coming together. I don't think I've ever been this strong to move this weight so easily. High cup multi spinner, one hundred and one. Everything, every day goes up. Three and a half weeks, I will be strong. <sighs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I won? There's. I was thinking about it. I don't think that there has ever been a super heavyweight champion who's 48. I don't think it's been done. I don't think there's ever been a dude that old. Now, I know I'm the underdog. I know that. Ermi is younger. Great skills. He's arm wrestling since he was a baby. Came up through the juniors. He's on a rampage. He's killing everybody. The thing that gives me hope, the thing that gives me just a little bit of hope is Dave Chafee's match. Dave and Ermi's match was close. It wasn't close, it was 3 nothing. But the thing is, is those first couple rounds, Dave was in it. Dave was in it. And the thing is, is if I can be in the match, well gets very interesting this is not me versus Levon this is not like that at all Levon was basically an impossible ask basically this is not impossible and that's what makes me so excited here we go everybody Defending his belt for the first time. This is the guy, ladies and gentlemen. 
November the 11th, Dennis Plankoff and I are set to have a match on the right hand. East versus West, super heavyweight world title. Dennis is a very important figure for this piece in my mind. Dennis taught me so much about sacrifice and about selflessness. When I first retired, I saw the world very differently. 2018, Dennis was one of the first ones to make me realize how immature my outlook was. And I fully realized that people sacrifice across all walks of life for their goals, things they love and are committed to. I have a ton of respect for Dennis. We know the story of Dennis Saplankov. We know what happened after the match. We know the sacrifice and what it cost him. This Remembrance Day will be very special to me because it will be against the champion who taught me a lot about sacrifice. Yeah, I do not want to see him fall. So, best with your preparation, Dennis. Focus on your health. I'll see you on the table. The night of November the 11th, he will sit in his hotel room. He'll look down at his big, ugly gorilla hands and you'll wonder how a skinny basketball player was able to make him feel so powerless, so unengaged. This is his destiny. Let him know that no matter what he does, it will not change the outcome. And death is waiting for him. I just wanna put it out there. I am going to destroy this guy. I feel it now when I see him. I feel good. Can't wait. It's been 15 years. I'm going to tear him apart on that table. Super heavyweight and heavyweight world champion of East versus West. The most recognizable face in the world of arm wrestling. His big return to super heavyweight honestly, Dennis Siblankov is back and he is ready for
emotion in the room is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, he is still the East versus West Super Heavyweight Champion of the World! Huge, huge thanks to Dennis Saplankov. Uh, world level, one of the great, I consider Dennis to be one of the greatest arm wrestlers, greatest strength athletes ever to grace the sports and sport in general. I wanna say, please don't, please don't misinterpret sometimes what happens before the fight. For me, the fight starts as soon as I sign the contract. Okay, I've been fighting Dennis for the last two and a half months, three months. I've loved every minute of it. As far as I'm concerned, the fight is done and I can go back to loving Dennis as an athlete and a friend. And then, uh, and then there's myself and Georgie. And uh, I'll tell you, I'm just, I'm super confident. I really am. Georgie's great. My opinion, he is, Georgie is, I think, the best top roller in the super heavyweight division. I'll say that. I, I think he is. Like, actually, well, I'm lying. I'll kill him at the top roller. But other than me, I think he's really good. Um, I think he is the best, myself excluded. I mean, maybe Levon, maybe Vitaly. I think this guy's hand and wrist doesn't buckle very much. I haven't seen it. Um, really good top roll and very good endurance. So the guy over the rounds doesn't seem to have gas tank issues. He seems to remain strong throughout the entire sequence. So, so yeah, he's good, but I'm, uh, I'm extremely confident right now. Uh, I feel like everything's working for me. Um, I love that I get to get right back on the table and fight against, you know, I don't know where he's ranked at the moment. I think he's ranked fifth. So against the, you know, that's a, that's a solid, that's a solid dude. Um, I'm going to beat him. I am. I finally figured out why I'm so happy about this match coming up. I feel like I'm going to just unlock Guy Orgy's soul. This guy actually thinks he's going to beat me. He really believes he can beat me. He's crazy. And I know a lot of people are like, Devin, you're so arrogant. He thinks the same thing as you. But it's different because I actually am going to win. The same way that the zebra just relaxes in its final moments before it gets totally ripped apart, I hope that Guy Orgy finds that same peace. You know, as I'm slowly dissecting him at the arm wrestling table. And I hope that he becomes a better person as a result of it. I hope that deep down, he just takes this experience and he goes on to do better things with his life. That'll mean a lot to me. If I see Guy Orgy in like a few months or six months or a year or... 10 years or 50 years doing great things, I'll know it's because of the beating that I gave him in three days from now. That'll make me feel good. And that right there is worth more than the money, worth more than the fame. So you're welcome and thank you at the same time, Guy Orgy. I hope you sleep well. Just know, in case you're wondering, you're not going to win. And I am way too massive, even though I'm way smaller than you. I'm still too massive for you. Have a good night. Stay massive, everybody. Canada, 125 kilograms. Harry, 196. 35 years old. Hungarian super heavyweight champion. Here he is. Let's go. Our number one. So he gets something from the hand that looks like a javelin. Javelin is good for him.
Devil Heart still remains the super heavyweight world champion of East versus West. 4-0, third elbow foul for Georgi Tsvetkov. How was this match? This was the most difficult match in my entire career. Very difficult. Yeah, uh, obviously Georgie is famous in this division for his top roll, for his hand and wrist. I really, really wanted to take it. Um, hey, his, his reputation is accurate. He's got an incredible hand and wrist. It's just, I had a move that was the answer, and uh, yeah, that's the card I just kept playing. Tough match. Thank you. Thank you very much, Georgie. You've been being super busy, super active, pulling so much, taking names, kicking asses. Say the name. Yeah, we all know what the name is. We all know he's been gone for a bit. But in my opinion, he's the greatest arm wrestler that's ever lived. The highest peak. There's John Berzink, and then there's Levon Sagnishvili. And as far as I'm concerned, no one can really be happy with calling themselves the super heavyweight world champion until they defeat Levon Sagnishvili. So Levon, last time you heard me, but I haven't stopped. I'm at a different level now. If you're 3% worse, and I'm 3% better, I'm gonna destroy you. And who knows, who knows, even if you're better, I still might destroy you. I'll see you very soon, Levon. I hope you're training.